What you're about to hear and see is a transformation. Several months ago, I had a chance to sit down on camera and talk with Susan. And we talked a lot about her life, especially about her life before coming to Shepherd's Door. It got so bad that I lived in my own filth. Didn't want to live no more. Couldn't understand why God put me through that. But God didn't put me through that. I put myself through it. And I realize that now, I long to come home. But I was so ashamed of me using and looking the way I did. I mean, I was 100, 100 pounds, filthy. But I long to come home to be with my mom and dad. Now, since that last interview, a lot has been happening in Susan's life, and I want you to see and hear the transformation. I think, like me, you're going to be amazed. And this is Susan today. You can obviously tell that a lot has been happening in Susan's life, both in the way she looks and, of course, as we're going to find out, uh, in the way that she has become, really, a brand new person. So, Susan, let's pick up your story. And I want to ask about your mom and dad. How are things going with your mom and dad? They're really good. Well, tell me more. <laughs> um, we've become a lot closer. Uh, I have a better relationship with them. Um, I, d I depend on them a lot, but I, I can do it in a healthy way instead of an unhealthy way now. Now they obviously have noticed, had to have noticed, just how you look. It's quite a bit different from when we talked even a couple of months ago. Yeah. Tell me what's been going on. Well, I've gotten a whole set of new teeth. I had only about six teeth when I got here. I've gained about <laughs> 40, 50 pounds. Um, I get my hair done once a month here in this room. Um, it's, it's just wonderful. How does um, it make you feel? It makes me feel like a woman. And I haven't felt that way in a long, long time. Why is that important? <laughs> well, when you live on the streets for so long, it makes you feel real good that you can finally be someone and not have to worry about using drugs or where you're going to get your next meal or sleep. Uh, you can just be confident that you can go out there and, and make something of yourself. I had a court date and I was went in and she says, are you a lawyer? And it's like, it shocked me because it's like, no, I'm in recovery. <laughs> no, I'm here to see the judge. But it was nice to know that she, that I, thanks to Shepherd's Door, that I was able to have that confidence and they saw that in me to think that I was a lawyer. Um, so I was, I was real pleased with the way I looked and it took Shepherd's Door to make me look that way. And the courage. Um, to want to get clean and sober. It's been 27 years for me to be clean and sober and to have a relationship with God. It's really great. Here at Shepherd's Door, the Women and Children's Ministry of Portland Rescue Mission, your gift gives more than you might think. It's more than a meal, more than a bed. You give hope and total life recovery to women like Susan. Give online at portlandrescuemission.org or call 503-MISSION.